Hello everyone, welcome to this Skyrim Special Edition 2017 Expansion Tutorial, the Ultimate Graphics Expansion Tutorial. And uh, yeah, this is a tutorial of, I would like to show you guys how you can pretty easily switch between the four main weather mods for Skyrim Special Edition. And in my opinion, I think that are Dolomite Weathers, Climates of Tamriel, Vivid Weathers, and Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel. And yeah, you might seem, it might look pretty difficult to do, but it's actually not that hard. And you might think that because we also need a specific preset for uh, the Skyrim Special Edition re the EMB, because I still think that's definitely the best EMB there is at this moment for Skyrim Special Edition. So uh, that means we, after this tutorial, you can just, with a click in Mod Organizer 2, you can select the correct weather mod and you can also just copy paste the correct preset because we're going to assemble four EMB, pre four EMB presets from Skyrim Special Edition re-engaged EMB for all the four weather mods. And um, yeah, let me show you how that should be done. Um, normally I'm using Dolomite, but for now, if you probably uh, have, in have finished my tutorial, you only have this mod, Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel, but let me show you how you can also just add the other weather mods. So in this case, Dolomite Weathers, you can go to files and just only download version 1.5, the latest at this moment. So download the main file from Dolomite, then from Climates of Ethereal, click on files, also download the main file. Then we have Vivid Weathers, go to files there as well, and also download the main file. That's, um, that's pretty much for all the files from here, the main file. And you probably have already natural atmospheric general, but else go not the description, but go to files and I'll not the main file, but the NAT file. So that, that are the, um, the weather mods. Then also check if you have the latest version of Skyrim special edition re-engaged EMB. And in that case, that is version 3.8a. And let me see, it's from the 5th of March. And that means I really need to check for these mods if I have the latest versions, okay. So, I did, as always, create a new folder and I placed it in my Step 11 Weather Lightning EMB and REST and I did create this folder, Weather and EMB versions. And there, I think I'm going to divide it again into folders. The first one is going to be EMB presets because we're going to assemble our own EMB presets for every specific weather mod and a new folder and I'm going to name it something like weather mods and there I'm going to place all the four weather mods in there so let's go to mod organizer 2 and I already do have uh, this one natural and atmospheric Tamriel but uh, let's add the other ones so let's go to step 11 weather lightning and e, uh, EMB and rest then we have this created folder that we did create then go to weather mods and let's see, I do have NAT, so I only need to add Climates of Thamriel, Dolomite Weathers and Vivid Weathers. So let's add Climates of Thamriel first. Let's see, uh, it's pretty much your own preferences. I'm not not going to uh, really use it, but um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do the installation. Then drag and drop it to, uh, let's see where it is, here it is, right under NAT, Natural and Atmospheric Terminal, and then activate the mod to check that the ESM or ESP file comes right underneath the weather mod because it should be loaded last in the load order. Um, please take note that we cannot use weather mods simultaneously. So for now, we're going to deactivate Climates of Thermal, but we want to check that the ESP was also when we activate the mod here at the bottom. All right, then the other two weather mods we have Fevered Weathers. And uh, yeah, let's wait a little bit for the installation. Meanwhile, maybe we can go to, um, let's see, how far is it? Um, I'm doing a direct recording, so I can't cancel my recording, unfortunately. But here we have a uh, op options form. Uh, this is also pretty much, pretty much personal preferences, but I see here Skyrim floor overall trees. We have that one, so you want to definitely check that. High res 2K, um, alternative add-ons. I would not select this for the sounds because we already have a sound mod if you followed my tutorial. For the rest, I wouldn't really bother that much. So if you would rather click on install, all right. 
And uh, again, meanwhile, what we can do now is check out, uh, make sure you download the latest EMB binaries. If you haven't done that, you probably have done that from the last tutorial from um, the EMB, in EMB part of that tutorial, you have this uh, EMB binary and the latest version here is version 3.8a from the Skyrim Special Edition re-engaged and that's correct. That's the latest version. So that's good. And uh, let's see um, what we want to do now. Or maybe this is finished already. Yeah, Fever Brothers is finished. Make sure you also drag and drop it right underneath um, the other weather mods. Doesn't really matter which which order because we only can use one weather mod at a time. So when we activate Fever Weathers, we want to definitely check that the ESP is also at the bottom. So that's good. Now we can deactivate it for now. And the last one is Dolomites. Check manual because it does not come with an options form. Okay, and this looks good. So then click on OK and also drag and drop Dolomites to here. Activate it and yeah, make sure the ESP also comes at the last part. All right, now we have successfully installed all of our four weather mods in Mod Organizer 2. And uh, this means, and please remember this, that you can only have one weather mod selected at a time. So don't accidentally leave FIFA Weathers on together with NAT because that will probably crash your game. So only select one of the four so we can uncheck NAT and we can activate Dolomite or Climates of Thamriel only. Visa, visa Versa pretty much uh, pretty much should be logic to you that you can only use one weather mod. So once we've done that, we now can open up the mod in presets and now we can create four uh, folders and we need to give it the name something like uh, just the weather mods. That would be the easiest one. So I'm going to create a folder named Dolomite. I'm going to create a folder named COT, which stands for Climates of Tamriel. I'm going to create a folder named NAT, Natural Atmospherics for Tamriel. I thought the short was. And for Vivid Weathers, we need to create a folder Vivid Weathers. And what we can do now is we can assemble the presets from the Skyrim Special Edition re-engaged. Uh, EMB and to do that I will show you how to do that first what you want to do is open up this compressed archive from the EMB binaries and we actually want to have two um, let's see we actually want to have two folders open uh, here it is yeah I was just looking where it was uh, okay the EMB presets we want that open we want to have two folders open all right, let's do it like this a little bit. What you want to then, what you want to do then, so you open up the EMB Skyrim uh, binaries for um, Skyrim Special Edition, then open up this folder wrapper version, and what you want to copy these two files only: d3dll, d3d11.dll, and d3dcompiler underscore 46e.dll. So copy those two files, and for each of these four folders, you want to paste the files in there. So, Climates of Tamriel, Dolomite, Natural Atmospherics for Tamriel, and Vivid Weathers. Alright, so we now have the base for our assembled uh, presets for each specific mod. Alright, then we want to go back and we want to open up the folder for Skyrim Special Edition Reengaged. And you will have this folder structure. And what we always want, because this is for every of the four presets, is the first folder and that's this one default version install first as always all right and then what you want to do is uh, copy these two these three files as well or three folders let's see if that works if I can copy them or not no I can okay that's pretty much depends if you're using WinRAR WinZip or in this case I'm using 7-zip and let's see first open up uh, the first folder in my case that's Climbs of Thamriel and we want everything from the default version here, so drag and drop it in there. All right, then from Dolomite, do the same. Dolomite, NAT also do the same. And Vivid Weathers also do the same. So now we have the same base mod uh, structure, base presets uh, structure for our four weather presets. Okay, then you can go back. And okay, pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to add the specific files for each preset. 
So the first one we can use is Climates of Thamriel users. And we're wanting Ultimate Edition. And from the files there in the Ultimate Edition, you can track and drop them. Make sure you uh, drag and drop them in the correct folder. So Climates of Thamriel folders inside the Climates of Thamriel folder and the Dolomite files in the Dolomite folder, etc. So let's see, we can go back now. And here we have Dolomite, so open that up. Select Ultimate Edition for the best quality, and now we can drag and drop them in the Dolomite folder and replace the files because these are specifically for Dolomite and the same applies for Climates of Thamriel. Those were specific files for Climates of Thamriel. Then we have NAT with the Ultimate Edition, and that's what we want. Drag and drop them into NAT and release and overwrite. And the last one is for Vivid Weathers. And let's see, oh, we also have for vanilla, but uh, I don't think any of you guys would like to use the vanilla version. So I'm only going to handle Climates of Thamriel, Dolomites, NAT, and Vivid Weathers. But the last one here is Vivid Weathers. Select Ultimate and select the files and folder for Vivid Weathers and replace the files. All right, then we're almost there, but we do have also optional depth of field strength and um, Skyrim Tuner, uh, sorry Skyrim Tuner, sorry. Fireman AF, <laughs> I was uh, pretty mixed up with Real Vision EB. Fireman AF has a, a nice compilation of screenshots here on how um, the DAF, the depth of field looks. So uh, the default, the stronger, an example, the screen archery looks very um, high on depth of field. So I suggest, but that's pretty much my personal preference, but I suggest you uh, check the screenshots and I'm going for the extreme duff because I don't think the extreme duff is too extreme. I think it's just good enough. So I suggest you go for the extreme duff. Um, for now, I'm going for screen archery duff, but that's because I need to create some screenshots now, but you should select extreme duff and I'm going to for screen archery. But again, I'm only going to do that because I need to uh, create some screenshots. All right. Um, yeah, let, let's not make this too confusing. So I'm also going for extreme duff. This is the folder you should select as well. Let's let's not make it too confusing for you guys. Open up extreme duff. This is the same folder you should select as well. Well, okay, climbs of Tamriel, we can drag and drop it in here. This is only for the depth of field, so it doesn't adjust any other files. Replace that for climbs of Tamriel, then for Dolomite, drag and drop it. Also in there for the depth of field adjustment. NAT, pretty much the same. Drag and drop it. Also in here. Uh, let's go one fold. No, um, EB series one folder. We have Fever Weathers also left. And then you want to drag and drop it in here as well. All right. Now we have successfully assembled all of the EB presets from the Skyrim Special Edition Re Engaged mod um, for our weather mods and what we can do now for easy um easily switching between the mods let me open up our skyrim my skyrim special edition game folder what you want to do is you want to let me uh sort my screenshots here let's see backup screenshots i should have done this before i did create this tutorial but uh to avoid any mess while uh, explaining everything, I'm going to put my screenshots in here. Yeah, okay. Now we have a clean system folder again, or at least how it should be with EMB. You probably have installed an EMB and the weather mod, um, but let me show you how to switch it. What you want to do is the following. You want to have the following folders up, and that is the Skyrim Special Edition main game folder and your folder with the four EMB presets that we did assemble for each specific weather mod. So let's say I want to use Dolomite weathers. Open up mod organizer, make sure every other weather mod is deselected and only select Dolomite weathers. So as you can see here, I only did select Dolomite weathers. Then we want to open up our Dolomite folder and we want to copy everything from there from our own assembled EMB preset and we want to paste everything in there and it is going to ask to override files. Yes, we want to do that. But what I suggest you do now if you want to switch to another weather mod. So an example, we want to use natural and atmospheric temporal. 
deselect Dolomite Weathers. Then select Natural and Atmospheric Temporal, NIT. And what I suggest, <coughs> sorry, you do now is remove the old EMB files. And the easiest way to do that is to open up the uh, EMB preset, which you currently had activated. So in this case, we still have the EMB preset activated for Dolomite. And just copy the Dolomite files again and paste them in your Skyrim Special Edition folder again and uh, overwrite them again. And the reason we're doing this and not copying the NAT files is because now we can just simply press the delete button and it will automatically delete the uh, old files from Dolomite. So now we can just go to NAT, copy all the files and paste them in our Skyrim Special Edition main game folder. And that's it. And now we can play with the NAT weather mod with the preset from Skyrim Special Edition uh, re-engaged uh, EMB uh, mod. So, yeah, sorry, I pretty much uh, <laughs> are losing the names of all the mods with so many mods we're using. But um, yeah, so let's say you are playing with NAT for a while and you want to switch again. I'm going to explain it again one more time. You want to switch to, let's say, uh, Fevered Weathers, then uncheck NAT in Mod Organizer 2. Then what you want to do then, we still have NAT preset uh, enabled and we want the, um, let's see, did I actually select the weather mod? No, I didn't, right? We still have NAT selected and we want to use Fevered Weathers. So let's activate Fevered Weathers. Okay, and let's see. And then what I said, we still have NAT enabled. So we want to go to the NAT folder again copy the old files or at least copy the files from there because what we can do now is this trick again paste everything in there replace it and with a simple delete button on our keyboard we can delete the old preset instantaneously and then we can go to the vivid weathers one copy everything paste it in here and voila we do have now very easily switched to vivid weathers we can now just play vivid weathers with the skyrim special edition re-engaged preset so that's pretty easy um, i'm going to switch to dolomite now because that's the one i like most so as a bonus let me show you one last time i'm going to uncheck vivid weathers i'm going to select dolomite weathers then i'm going to my main game folder and i'm going to delete the old preset which in this case was vivid weathers so i'm going to copy vivid weathers the EMB preset i'm going to paste it overwrite it press the delete button so I can easily delete my old Fever the Weathers preset. And now the Dolomite preset, which is the one I'm going to use. I'm just going to copy the files and I'm going to paste it in here. And now I'm ready to use the Dolomite preset with Dolomite Weather Mod. So yeah, that's how easy it is in the end when you want to switch to specific weather mods. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it only. So only um, delete the old files from the weather preset that you did use uncheck the weather mod that you did use and select the new weather mod and then paste the new emb preset from that weather mod to your skyrim special edition uh, main game folder so i hope this helped you guys um and uh, please let me know if it worked if it helped you and else i will hope to see you guys at the next video take care and bye bye